My name is Harm von den Dorpel. I'm an artist. I've been making NFTs since 2015 when they were not called NFTs yet. I like generative art because to some extent the outputs are unpredictable and I like the, the chaos and I like to tame the, the chaos. I like to use the medium-specific possibilities of a technology in my work. So that's why I like on-chain art, art that is generated by the smart contract and I just see it as a new medium. The first time that I made an artwork that could be maybe called on-chain was Event Listeners from 2015. And it was offered through a marketplace called Coin Temporary. And we gave a presentation about that as this was the first time that many people ever heard of crypto in the Museum of Applied Arts in, in Vienna. So we minted it on stage actually as a demonstration how you would do that. And then the museum saw that and said, hey, let's get 20 editions for our permanent collection and they paid with Bitcoin. So that was the first time ever that the museum bought digital work with cryptocurrency and the artwork itself, its provenance was also stored on chain. Some people were worried that by putting stuff on chain that you would kind of ruin the fluidity and transformability of digital art. So I took that idea and I thought, can I make an NFT that is on chain, that is partially immutable, but that still over time develops itself? There are many artists who make amazing digital work but had no direct clear way of how to package that and with crypto was just very, very convenient for that. So I hope that the museums will allow NFTs to be exhibited so that these, these worlds kind of merge instead of being antagonistic to each other. That's what I hope.